spent a couple weeks ago we were with the bentley group you know the people that make really really expensive cars mm -hmm. they're not toyota they're not selling millions and millions of cars they're selling a few hundred every year and that's good enough for their model right but there's a huge cost to this let's be really clear yeah the cost is the distance from zero people buying a bentley to 500 people buying a bentley is very narrow so what you have to do is extraordinary unreasonable things to make it so that five hundred people will cross the street to sign up for what you do mm -hmm. you know so in that basket over there i have dark chocolate from 10 different countries 20 countries 30 different crafts people who make dark chocolate now i'm obsessive about dark chocolate i don't drink wine so i use my wine budget to buy dark chocolate fine what do you have to do to get me to buy your dark chocolate right. very good dark chocolate doesn't cut it extremely good dark chocolate doesn't cut. I'm not going to even talk about extremely good dark chocolate, but I'm going to talk about Rogue or Soma or Askinosi because Sean Askinosi doesn't make extremely good dark chocolate. He makes insane dark chocolate. That's the cost. The cost is if you don't want to make average stuff for average people, you have to make unbelievable stuff for a few people who care. Yeah, yeah you have to differentiate yourself some way, right? Like if you don't have the biggest budget in town, and you can't rent someone else's audience, your product or your service or your thing has got to be so remarkable, right? That right, and what remarkable means is worth making a remark about. So it's not up to you, it's up to me. If I'm going to talk about it, then it spreads. But you don't get to decide what's important to me, I get to decide what's important to me. What often happens with entrepreneurs, because we have so much trouble with our mother-in-law and so much trouble with the money and so much trouble with everything else, is when it comes down to it, we back off just a little bit. At the last step, we said it's good enough. Actually, it's not. That's that last step where you didn't push it off the, 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 to number 11. That's when you stumbled because you said it's good enough for everyone. Yeah, but you're not making something for everyone. You're making something for me. So how do you reconcile then this idea? Because you talk about shipping it a lot. Uh, Reed Hastings has talked about, you know, if you ship your product and you're not embarrassed about it, right at first, you ship too late. Um, maybe help reconcile what you just said. Okay, so I'm not sure Reed and I completely agree. Okay. Um, and I have never said, what the hell, just ship it. Never. That's what people who are afraid think I'm saying. Right. What I'm saying is you will never be ready. You should be prepared, but you'll never be ready. Because what it means to be ready is it's going to work. Okay. And you don't know it's going to work. So when Gutenberg launched the printing press, the printing press was amazing. By today's standards, it was terrible. But by those standards, it was amazing. Except 94% of the people in Europe were illiterate. <laughs> so it was a, a stupid time to launch the printing Too press. Too soon, yeah. When Carl Benz launched the car, it was against a lot of drive. There were no roads and there were no gas stations. Really dumb time to launch the car. He couldn't possibly be ready. So what I'm arguing is not that you should ship things that are sloppy or flawed. What I'm saying is if the thing that's holding you back is you're saying to yourself, it's not ready, it's not perfect, those are the symptoms of fear. And you will never, ever get over that fear because the easiest thing to do is not ship it. And what I'm saying is the discomfort we feel with shipping feels differently between I shipped it and I'm embarrassed because it's sloppy and I shipped it and I'm not sure it's going to work. Those are two different things.